In this video, we'll be checking out how the latest global version of the Mi UI 10, which is 8.6.14, looks on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. We'll be checking out the changes. So, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Techno Review, and let's get started. Before starting the video, make sure to hit the red subscribe button on our channel and also click the bell icon beside it as to get quick notifications of our new uploads. So this is the MIUI 10 beta globally released version, the latest one, 8.6.14. It is now available for a bunch of devices. So now getting into the changes, firstly starting from the lock screen, as you can see the clock is placed in the center, which we had in the left hand side top corner in the MIUI 9. And as you can see at the bottom, the swipe to unlock is also removed in the MIUI 10. So getting into the home screen, there is a change in fonts in the MIUI 10. Now the look of the applications looks absolutely similar. There is no change in icons here. So there's lots of change in the notification panel from the MIUI 9. As you can see right over here, this is the brand new look of the notification panel. And you can see here the brightness slider. It's totally changed. And this way you can increase the brightness and decrease it. It looks really cool. And you've got lots of toggles here and you just tap on edit. You can see from here you can add few quick toggles. Just tap on one and drag it and you're set. When you're finished just tap on done. And then we have got the notifications here. You can swipe it to the left. There you'll get two options. One is the setting, another is the snooze option. And then to discard a notification you can just slide it to the right. And you have got the cross icon where you can discard all the notifications at once. We have got a totally redesigned battery icon from the MIUI 9 as you can see over here. And also there is changes made in the network icon. You can just tap on the settings icon and get directly into settings. So coming into settings, you get about phone here and below that you get the security status. Here you can directly get into system updates and check for updates. As you can see, it's running on my UI 10. My UI 10 runs along with the Android 8.1.0, which is Android Oreo. And that's pretty much it in the about phone section. Another interesting change which you get along with the my UI 10 is the brand new designed recents. So basically, this is a vertical design of the recents. And here at one go, you can see lots of applications together, like in the my UI 9 we had a horizontal recent but here it's being changed to vertical basically i prefer this one much more comparing it to the previous recents we had and now with any recent application what you can do is you can just slide it to the left or right in order to discard or close a particular application and when you tap and hold a particular application you get three options number one is settings number two is the split screen option and number three is the lock so starting with settings, when you tap on it, you'll get into the settings of the app from where you can make your necessary configurations on the app. And then you get this option, which is the split screen. Now you can easily identify which application will open in split screen as if it does support split screen, then the split screen icon will be black. And if it doesn't support, it will be gray. And the split screen works pretty well here. No issues with that. Coming to the lock option over here, if you lock a particular app, even if you clear all the other application at once, tapping on the cross icon, the app which you have locked and the reasons won't be cleared so that's really a cool feature now the next change which is made is with the volume controls and here as you can see the style is more of like the android plea volume slider you can just slide up in order to increase the volume and slide down to decrease it and you get this silent option which you can directly tap from here and get your phone in the silent mode so this is the redesigned volume control you don't have to discard it with few seconds of inactivity it automatically gets away from the screen and then you get options of silent and dnd when you tap on silent you get a countdown which you have to set if you want your phone to be back in the general mode after a particular time you can set the countdown and there you get the dnd mode so the next thing we're talking about is the gestures added so for enabling the gestures just get into the full screen display and from there just select full screen gestures and when you're done you'll get a quick tutorial about it so if you swipe from the bottom quickly you'll get to the home screen if you swipe from the bottom and pause you'll get into the recent tab if you swipe from the edge you'll get back you can swipe from any edge whether it be left or right and another thing which you will see is when you swipe from the edge and hold it maybe it is from right or the left you get an option to go back to the previous application you have been using. This way you get to swipe over different applications you have been using. So that's all about the newly added gestures in the MIUI 10.
Coming next to the camera, there is no major change in it. The only change you'll get is in the portrait mode. Previously when we used to get into the portrait mode, from there you cannot switch to the front camera. But now with the portrait mode you can switch to both back and front camera. And you don't get any portrait icon right in the top. But you just have to get into the portrait mode and switch whichever side you like. So in the portrait mode you get an option to zoom in and zoom out. It looks pretty much the same. So the camera is working great as well in the MIUI 10. Now here are a few applications missing like the MI AI. It is not there in this version it was there in the chinese version but in this miui 10 global beta there is no mi ai app few of the applications are added like the mi video now that's pretty cool app i must say because there you get lots of stuffs like movies tv shows music sports and you get a youtube icon directly in that you can just tap on it and get into youtube and you get this icon which is the game center where you'll get all types of games you get a category like must play so from there you can choose all kind of addictive games Games, and you also get offline games option you can also search games based on various categories here now coming to a very important change here in the mobile and networks option you get the option of dual 4g which allows 4g connectivity for both sim slot so now with the miui 10 8.6.14 you can insert two geo sims on your phone and even get the volte enable for both the geo sims and you can even call from both the sim cards so the age-old problem of volte not working for one of the sim slots now this is fixed in the MIUI UI 10. The calculator app does look a bit changed. No major changes right over here. And the clock application has been updated. When you set or start a timer, you can see few options down over here like the summer, night, beach, drizzle and stove fire. So when you start the timer and switch on to one of these modes, you can see a very cool picture behind it. A very soft music based on the theme. No huge amount of changes to be seen in the dialer but definitely there is a bit of change in the calling screen and it just overlays a blur screen so that your wallpaper can be visible underneath the caller screen. We get few pre-installed wallpapers along with the MIUI 10 so you can check out the wallpapers from here. If you just scroll to the left side you can see lots of cards here and the new shortcut which is the Google Assistant shortcut added in here and you can also see the MI Carnival banner over here. You can just tap on it and get into it. Now coming to the battery life on the Redmi Note 5 Pro with the MIUI 10. I can say over here that as I've been using the MIUI 10 on the Redmi Note 5 Pro for one and a half day right now, the battery life I feel has improved a bit. And now talking about the snappiness, it is quite snappy and all of the application runs quite smoothly. I didn't face quite much of a lag in the MIUI 10. And that was the MIUI 10 on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. As you can see, there are lots of changes. There are gesture changes and there is changes in the notification panel and so on. And I found most of them really cool. So make sure to comment down below which one is your favorite. And yes guys, if you like this video, then do not forget to hit that like button down below. And also to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to follow us on Instagram. The link is given down below in the description box. So make sure to follow us there. And that's wrap for this one. Hope to see you guys in my next video.